Uh, so the paper is about how human activity um, along roads and trails might influence uh, large mammal food webs. Uh, we did the work in southwest Alberta in the foothills um, just along the east slopes um, south of Crow's Nest Pass between Crow's Nest Pass and Waterton National Park. Sure, so this is uh, one of the camera traps that we use. So it's a um, digital camera. Uh, the main components are it's got an infrared sensor here and then the camera lens and then a flash. So what it does is you set it up on the trail and if something passes in front of this infrared sensor, it uh, sets it off and then that triggers a picture to be taken. And if it's at night, the flash will go off. Um, and then you get a time-stamped picture of what it was that went in front of the camera. Um, pictures of animals. Uh, sometimes they come up and investigate the cameras and give it a good lick or something like that. Uh, well, the main thing that we found was that um, it seemed to be that large ungulate species, um, which we called prey species, um, were more likely to co-occur at these camera trap sites we'd set up than uh, large carnivore species. So um, animals like grizzly bears, black bears, wolves, and cougars seem to um, be more likely to avoid or use areas where there's fewer people than um, ungulate species or their prey species like moose, elk, white-tailed deer, and mule deer. Results seem to suggest that if you're going to have lots of human activity in an area, you might push carnivores out of the area. And that has an indirect benefit uh, for their prey species, so you can imagine it creates almost a spatial refuge on that landscape. Um, so if this is an area that's more beneficial to prey species, they might spend more time there uh, eating the grass and the trees in that area, um, so it has effects on vegetation. So there's these trickle-down effects through the food web.